All right, so let's begin to construct the North Rose window of Chartres Cathedral. This window is in the Notre Dame Cathedral in France. You will need white paper, a compass, a straight edge like a ruler, a sharp pencil, and an eraser. You will be leaving all construction arcs. Do not erase them unless told to do so. Your rough draft artwork will look messy and ugly, and that's a good thing because you will be graded based on these ugly arcs, so do not erase them. That means you're going to have to be light and gentle on the pencil so the arcs won't be so dark. Messy arcs will be hard on your eyes and you will have a hard time seeing important details. So in the center of your paper, somewhere in the middle, place a dot. Use your compass to construct a large circle taking up the entire paper. That means you will anchor in that center dot and make a very large circle all around. Use your straight edge to construct a diameter. A diameter is a segment that goes through the center and it touches both sides of the circle like this. Make sure that line is very light. Be gentle with your pencil. Next, you're going to bisect this diameter and again, do not erase those arcs. So that means you need to figure out this technique. You've been doing this forever. So I will not give you instructions how to do it, but I'm going to show you what it would look like when you do it. All right, the line that goes straight down through the center is your perpendicular bisector. Again, all these arcs must stay, including the bisector. Label the intersection points on the edge of your circle with numbers according to the clock. So at, at, on top here is where 12 o'clock is. Over here would be 3 o'clock. Down here, 6 o'clock and to the left, 9 o'clock. We will fill in the rest of the numbers next. So you're going to be anchoring at 12. We have four dots, four anchoring points. We will start at 12 and continue to 3, then 6, and 9. But right now, start anchoring at 12. You're going to choose a radius and construct an arc passing through the center. So your arc will look something of this nature. It's going to go right through the center, but not past it. Okay, your arc will be look much nicer than mine, okay? Not wobbly like that. But that's, you get the idea. Label the two new intersection points, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, and erase this arc, the one I just made. This is the one time where it's okay to erase. Go ahead and do so. Now you're going to anchor at 3 o'clock right here and you're going to construct another arc passing through the center. It will look something like this. Of course your, your arc will look much sharper and cleaner than mine. Like that. You're going to label the two new intersection points 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock and do erase the arc. Go ahead and do so. Now go ahead and anchor at 6, right here 6 o'clock, and construct an arc that passes through the center again. It will look something like this. Again, your arc will be much nicer and smoother than mine.
you will label these two new intersection points 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock and do erase the arc. Let's go on the next step. Now anchor at 9 o'clock right here and construct an arc passing through the center again like you've been doing before and it will look something like this. Let's go on to the next step. Label the two new intersection points 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock and do erase the arc. Let's go to the next step. Now use a straight edge and connect the dots according to this rule, plus 5. Let's start at the 1 o'clock dot. For example, 1 plus 5 equals 6. That means you're going to connect dot 1 to dot 6 using your straight edge and make a nice clean line, like so. Again, be really gentle and light with the pencil. Let's do another one. Dot 2 plus 5 equals 7. That means you're going to connect dot 2 to dot 7. Again, be gentle and make the line light. Let's do another. 3 plus 5 equals 8. So connect dot 3 to dot 8. Be gentle and light on the line. Okay, you get the idea. So now keep going. Go with 4. Add 5 and see where you end up and connect the line. Do, a ni do it nice and gentle. Keep going until you get to 8. Let's go to the next slide. When you get to 8, you're going to get 8 plus 5 equals 13. Now, that isn't, you don't have a 13 o'clock, but you do have a 1 o'clock. That comes right after 12. That means you're going to connect 8 to 1. Don't stop. Keep going. Now go anchor. I mean, um, look at 9. Add 5. That will become 14. That means you're going to connect 9 to 2. Don't stop until you are finished connecting dot 12. And dot 12 should end up with dot 5. Okay? Go ahead and finish connecting all the dots until you get to 12. Okay, so now you're done. You have a dodecagram. This is called a 12-pointed star. And I hope your lines are very light like mine. Let's go to the next step. Now inside the small, uh, inside the kites, you're going to be constructing little small circles. Let me help you see the, the kites. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. Let's start with the 12 o'clock. It's the most obvious. See this edge here going down and then it comes to a sharp point. Well, that's an upside down kite, but it's in the shape of a kite. There's 12 of these kites. So you're going to have to eyeball it and guess. You're probably going to have to use one of those small white circles, pre-made circles on your compass if you have a compass like mine and then just kind of tuck in a little circle that will kind of barely touch all the outer edge here of the kite. Okay, see how they kind of barely touch? If you kind of go slightly over, it's okay. Just don't go way out, all right? If you have a traditional compass, all you need to do is take your sharp point and kind of guess what the center would be and try it and spread out your compass to a certain radius that will be nice and make you a nice tight circle like that and if it doesn't work erase it until you get a good size circle okay do it to all 12 kites if you just branch out from the dots you will see an upside down kite all 12 of them go ahead and do all 12 circles so now what you're gonna do is place a dot on top of each circle but you're not gonna guess where to put the dot you will do it exactly and precisely by lining up your ruler with a number dot, okay, let's start with one. Here's the number dot. Line it up with the center. So your, your ruler will be straight down here from one to the center like that. Okay, so this dotted red line on the screen represents your ruler. You're not actually drawing that line, okay? It's a ruler sitting there. 
Now take your pencil and put a dot right there on top of the circle, right where the red line meets the circle. Okay? Let's try another one. Take your ruler and line it up with dot 2 and the center. So here's your ruler lined up. Now you take your pencil right here where the circle meets your ruler on the outer side. Put a dot in there. And there you go. So go ahead and do that for the rest of the circles until you, get, you finish with circle number 12. Let's go do it. So now you will have 12 dots on the outer edge of each circle. Let's go on to the next step. Now use a straight edge and connect the dots according to this rule again, the plus 5 rule. So the dots that you just made, that's the ones we're using, not the one on the outer edge of the circle, on the little circle. You're going to start with 1 plus 5 equals 6. So connect 1 to 6. Again, be very light with your pencil, make the line super light. Do another one. Okay, and keep going until you finish with dot 12. Dot 12 will end up connecting with dot 5. Again, it's the small dots inside the small circles. Alright, so once you're done, let's go on to the next step. So now, you have 12 little light lines inside here giving you another smaller dodecagram, another 12-pointed star, but smaller. Now here's the hard part that's kind of difficult on the eyes. Inside here, in this region, is a flower. To find the flower, you need to be able to see the small kites and then darken in the tip of the small kites. So let me help you find the big kites first. See the big kites? Look at 12 o'clock. The big kite is in black. All right, okay, but here it goes, here's a small kite that's blue. Okay, so the tip of the kite actually starts in this, this, these little dots, and they branch out to this teeny little kite here. It's the tip of these little kites that you want to darken in. So let me grab a pen with a dark color. Okay, so let's start with 12. See a small little blue kite in here. At the very tip, I darken it in with my pencil. There. Okay, the rest of the kite is right there. It's kind of hard to see. Do your best. Now let's go to 1 o'clock. See this blue kite? I'm going to find the tip where it joins with the first one that I darkened. There it is and I stop right there. Okay, now I go find the other blue kite on number two. So here I connect. And eventually you will see the pattern of a flower popping out. See there's this blue kite right here. I'm going to darken in the tip. Once you get started with a few, you start to see the flower pop out and it will be easier for you to see the rest. So keep going. Okay, I'm just slowly darkening the tip of my kites. And again, this is a rough draft, so it's not going to be very neat and perfect. Hopefully your final draft will look much better when you have more practice. Okay, so there's my flower. Alright, it's a little messy. It's alright, it's a rough draft. You won't be graded on neatness, but I can see my flower now. So you see all these lines inside is messy. We're going to get rid of them. Let's go to the next step. Erase everything inside the flower, but leave the center. See, all these messy lines are gone. Erase them. Leave the dark outline of the flower. And you are almost done. Next step. Connect to the center to complete the rows. This is what I mean. Just start at one of the lower edge of the rows and connect it to the center. 
here's another lower point right there start at another low point right there keep going connect all 12 low point to the center and you will have your rows you are done with the rough draft it's not much to look at right now but the final draft will be much prettier now take out another piece of paper and make another one this will be the final artwork you will need to erase the construction marks as you go so the final artwork is pretty and you can decorate it any way you like now remember even the bisector gets erased on the final artwork no construction arcs whatsoever okay you need to watch this video as often as you need watch it so that you can do it um, do a good job on the final artwork that's it